uh why do you say europeans never created a civilization show me one that's the only question i've had show me a european civilization rome was not a civilization greece was not a civilization you don't know a day in the history of greece where there wasn't a war you don't know a day in the history of rome and there wasn't a war those are not civilization those are death cults war cults they're not building anything they're stealing from other people borrowing from other people and still carrying on this anti-human, anti-nature behavior of murdering, stealing, to conquer and appropriate something that belonged to someone else that you could have gotten by just shaking the hands and making a deal. To wake up black, educate, and enlighten. The base, most basic characteristic of civilization is respect for human life, respect for nature, respect for ecology you know, respect for cosmology. Because all of these things work together. Like say, you and I, we want to plant some barley. Well, we can't just plant the barley any time of the year. You have to plant the barley a certain time of year, so you must master the, the cosmology to know where the stars are, where the moon is, where the sun is, at the time that's appropriate for planting barley. I've got to also know in my environment, what is the weather condition? Is it warm, is it cold, is it rainy, is it dry, which is the best time of year? So that's a part of civilizing, is the science of managing and respecting ecology and cosmology. This is the most fundamental. Then respecting human life, that you can't just kill people to take things. That you need to build human relationship to learn how to share things. That's most fundamental in civilization and that you can begin to build the systems that allow for you to feed, clothe, and shelter your population without warfare, murder, or mayhem, or genocide as we've seen Europe do for millennia now. And so when we think of civilization, you think of people who are living according to an order. They've studied the laws of nature, They've studied the laws of cosmology, ecology. They've turned those into their artificial social laws, and they live according to those laws that give them harmony and balance. I was saying, yeah, listening to you, just to sum it up, civilization is man mimicking the universe. The universe, how it's able to work together. Yes. That's like the best definition. That's sacred science. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, so for the second part, right? Uh, why do you say Europeans never created a civilization? Show me one. <laughs> That's the only question I've had. Show me a European civilization. Rome was not a civilization. Greece was not a civilization. You don't know a day in the history of Greece where there wasn't a war. You don't know a day in the history of Rome and there wasn't a war. Those are not civilization. Those are death cults, war culture. They're not building anything. They're stealing from other people, borrowing from other people, and still carrying on this anti-human, anti-nature behavior of murdering, stealing, to conquer and appropriate something that belonged to someone else that you could have gotten by just shaking the hands and making a deal. Why are white people so intimidated and threatened by black men despite their claims that black men are inferior to them and incapable of the most basic tasks? Well, that's an easy answer to that question. They know black men are inferior, I mean, are superior to them. Put us on any playing field, be it physics or football, and we will win. Give us the same opportunities and we will win because we come from a history of not trying to destroy and dominate the world. And you come from a history of trying to destroy and dominate the world. And that has become the culture of the white community. You know? So you go into your medicine and your first open heart surgery as a black man, your first separating of, 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 of um, Siamese twins as a black man, the creator that eventually produces your first artificial heart as a black man. Um, the, the, you can just go on and on. A black janitor, John Hancock, all right? 
teaches your best surgeon, the janitor who never went to med school. Give me a break. You got a TV set because of a black man. You got a cell phone because of a black man. Video you games. got a touchstone because of a black woman. You got the video game because of a black man. You've got the internet because of um, a, a brother from Ghana, Nigeria or Ghana, I think the brother's from. You got the, 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 um, what's the what's, when we send messages on uh, the computer. Um, you know, like I'm gonna text you. Uh, like, um, what do you call it? Email. You have the email because of a black Indian man. Yeah, and it's just going, all of the technology that you, you're using was created for your corporations by African peoples. Yeah. All of it.